told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long it hurts Hey folks, JR with Channel 13 in Asia uh, Early morning start So uh we're eating breakfast right now. I'll show you that here in a second. And headed out, go see some scenes, scenery today. So uh, come along with us. All right, let's go. <laughs> We got our uh, breakfast here at the Kamahana Moku. Room comes with breakfast. Miss Cecilia's breakfast. She got her coffee. Banana pancakes look pretty good. Looks very nice in here <clears throat> in the morning. Surrounded by nature definitely prefer this place over the other place we stayed even though you don't, you're not right on the water um, it's not far so <clears throat> definitely for the price point as well two nights here is cheaper than one night at the other place to watch your blue eyes fade to gray as you fade away This is Dugisit Beach. Not really much of a beach, but it's pretty cool. Especially at low tide, which we're at right now. I always like these kind of rocky formations. Got some tight tidal pools and stuff. There's some small fish in these tidal pools. This is not, this is like five minutes from where we're staying at, so it's definitely a good place. We're here at this uh, Balete Eco Park. It's in Maria Aurora. And uh, I'll show you up close to this tree behind here in a sec. 600 years old. Check it out here in a minute. Here's your massive tree, 600 years old. Approximately about five stories high. It's insane, these uh, roots.
gamit suman. Ito bigas sa bagong lang. Mabibili ito sa labing dalawang piraso ay isang daan lamang. Halina kayo at bumili na kayo ng suman dito sa Balete Tree. Masarap ang suman dito. Ito ang bestseller ng suman dito sa Aurora. Matatagpuan lang sa Balete Tree ang tunay na masarap na suman. We're out here at the uh, Belair Hanging Bridge. This is your closest one to the downtown area. There's another one uh, a little further out. It's pretty cool. Got some kids jumping. It's pretty good. Uh, pretty good little drop. Got some fishing boats coming in. Alright, let's go uh, check it out up top. Alright, don't ask me how this is possible, but we're the only ones right now. This place is uh, packed, there's a lot of people, but timing is everything. We're the only ones. You're getting a solo tour. Nice view. Got these uh, kids swimming below. These kids were jumping off this thing. It's a pretty good, uh, pretty good drop for them. But this one seems a lot sturdier than the uh, the last one we went on. And uh, I think that was in Bataan. That thing was uh, falling apart. These cables uh, look like they uh, could use a little changing. What's that? <laughs> when the uh, Belair Public Market. Just checking it out. Hello. your typical market. It's got a lot of uh, nice fruits and vegetables, fish. They need uh, need aroma vision. So you guys can get the uh, aromas I'm getting right now. And I'm not a fish eater. Pretty good sized fish area. Oh got some uh, something you don't see in Angeles too much got some lobsters good size shrimp back here is the uh, 
meats. I think you've seen these in my videos before, man. These uh, chase away the flies. It's cool. Hello. Maganisa. Hello. This guy. There's a good sized tuna head. Some pompano. Good size little market. Got some calamansi. Hello. Got your uh, vinegars and whatnot. It's a small. Uh, looks like uh, they got the clothes and your rice and your hardware and all your other stuff in a second building over there. So pretty nice little market. Go ahead and. Uh, in the footage here not far from our bed and breakfast is uh sista resort and this is the port tavern see up here it's a uh, british filipino owned and yeah, let's go inside and get some lunch we'll show you show you the food here in a sec you see the port out here that's where we were the other night in the video you see high tide coming up this mangrove uh, last night this was out about halfway so all right let's go get some food There's your view inside the port tavern. Got a billiards table. Got a seating area. Got a nice uh, English style pub. Lots of alcohol available. And then here's your uh, swim pool. And the rooms are down here. So, I think we're gonna try this place out next time we come. Stay here a couple nights. Let me go walk down here and check out the view down below. I think this place was uh, running about 35, uh, yeah, I think it was like 3,500 pesos, somewhere in there. 70 bucks US or a little bit less. I think it was less than that. I'll have to look it up. Let's see. Got a nice uh, hangout day. Hello. Got the view of the port, mangrove forest. Like I mentioned, high tide, the water's coming in. Last night, the water was out to where those little little boats are right there. The water had drawn back all the way out to there. But they have a, uh, actually have a big banca boat, um, and they do tours out to, I guess, for snorkeling and whatever. You see here, they have some life vests drying off, so they took some tours up. See, you got option of a little cabana over here, it looks like. The rest of the rooms are over on this side it looks like in front of the rooms there's hammocks which is kind of cool you can chill out there yeah each room's got its own little hammock 
and some sitting chairs. So here we go. Staff is uh, letting me go check out this room. So there you go. There's two hammocks. So each of these, uh, each of these places has. Uh, there's no power right now. I turn it on when somebody checks in. It has two bedrooms. So it's a little dark. You got a bedroom. You got TV. You got a nice little sitting area. Another TV. Good size shower. Bathroom. And then uh, another. This is a bigger bed. This almost looks like a king. It's got a TV. Sorry if it's a little dark. There's no power in there. I guess that bed is about the same size. See, there are two queens or two kings. So not bad. I think it's like uh, five, six per night. So a little over a hundred bucks, but you got two bedrooms. So easily four people and you got the couch. Uh, I bet you, I didn't look to see if it's, yeah, somebody could sleep on the couch. Wouldn't it be me, but so there's one, two, three, four of those. And he said they got another smaller room, but it's got uh, just fan, no air con or anything like that. It's kind of a, a budget room, but pretty cool. So this is the uh, Sista. So another option up here, especially for a family or two couples. Each have your own bedroom. You can split the cost. So check it out. So here's our food. Got uh, some grilled fish. We got a spicy chicken adobo. Of course, rice. Rice is life. And we got some vegetable samosas coming as well. So. Here's the uh, vegetable samosas. How's your fish? Oh, no, you already can't give a thumbs up after you did like that. You said, ah, uh, ah, uh, you can't switch it. A little bit dry. A little bit dry, she said. That's, yeah, sometimes fish is like that. This adobo is really good, it's spicy. Samosa. Good stuff. So that was a fun day. Glad you guys could tag along. Uh, we're just hanging out now at the hotel. Just had sunset, so we're just chilling out. And then uh, tomorrow we'll be heading out. So. Hope you like our video. Thank you for the subscriber. And see you in the next one. Tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way I guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade